don't know why I done that. <laughs> Coilovers. Loads of different brands. Loads of different types. Well, technically a coil is a coil over a strut, so. But yeah, got the BCs. Now, these are 6K um, per millimeter compression. Uh, so they're, they're a little bit soft and I'm finding that the back end's a bit boaty. So what I've done, I've got some 9K springs that um, load them from BC. They're going to replace these. Um, they are slightly shorter. Um, that's because I'm debating on whether to put a helper spring in or not. So I've put a helper spring in. Just means that the actual shock piston movement is further down, so you've got more fluid either end of it. Um, they're only 20 more shorter, so I can run them without in a minute. See how we go. Um, but yeah, anyone wondering, they are 62 mil internal, external diameter, and 200 mil in length. The original ones are 62 mil external, I'm pretty sure it's external. What a measury boy here somewhere. There we go. This is zero. 87 mil external. 62 mil internal, a 200 mil, but this only goes up to 160. So, I've got to strip the end down. It's about up here, take the adjuster out, take the ends off. Um, I've got to decompress the spring first before I take it off, I'm going to do it. But I've got to do a bit of maths first, so what I'm going to do is mark here with a pen. Mark there. And then mark where it lands on it. Just about a general area. Count the rotations off. This is a two mil pitch, so in theory, one full revelation. Revelation? Revolution? Um, is two mil of movement, which would then be, while every one mil this moves is six kilos of preload. So I've got to count back until the spring's loose. Tell me I can then do how many rotations times two times by six will give me the amount of kilograms of preload that are on the spring. And then I've basically just got to make it as close as possible to the new one on a 9k being six and a nine they're in the same times table so it shouldn't be too bad i may add a little extra to them anyway um so i want to put the car down it doesn't sag at all let's get these part let's wrap that I mean, there's probably a better way of doing this. I don't have it. Work out how many fucking rotations we've got. That's one.
two. Slow the tension. So I can move that spring now. We'll say three. It was six mil, six times six, back six. Let's back that up a bit more. So 36, nine times table, four times nine, 36, done. Um, nice and easy, so rather than three full turns, we need two. But what I might do is two and a half turns. That's a full hand mill to get that out. You can get extended ones, which is what I need. So I don't have to take the trim out every time I want. Just the female bolt. Five mil Allen key in the end. Seventeen mil spanner. Clean that shaft up. Put them bits back on in a moment. Same looseness as the other one. Right. See me mark there. Do the first one by hand. That's is that's is good. On shocketh. Put that back in there. Sock length. Three fifty. Should be minty fresh on the back. I've double check fronts. Those I might extend this anyway, because um. Well, it's raised up a little bit, but with the big springs, it shouldn't squish as much. So we'll see how we go with that. But um, yeah, I'll whip them back in the car. We'll get, I've got to go get some tyres fitted, <coughs> get them done, 
and then uh, we'll get it down and see what that's like. So I've gone back in. Um, I've also added eight mil height to it. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it was only just cusping this on a on a bump. Don't know if you can see. It's taking the paint off slightly. So, but yeah, other than that. Although technically stiffer springs, it shouldn't hit that on a bump now, but baby surgeon, sorry. Down. Oh, after the um, eight mil I took out, added to it, I had to go back in and take that eight mil out. Well, I actually took 10 mil out of it because it's still wonky at the minute, so this side's slightly higher. But that's basically where it's going to sit. And again, the front's still, still a bit wonky, so but we'll see. See how we get on with that. We can always make up adjustments, but I've also put the 12 mil spaces in the rear and the 15s in the front. So it looks a little bit better. Right, so it's manual. It's quite, it's quite nice. I've given it a shake down already. This is just a little drawer. It drives really, really nice now. There's a few things like this shifter. Got a lot of play in it, but other than that, it's quite nice, it's really good. So, the springs in the back feel better as well, it doesn't sag as much when I go around corners, which is good. Um, that was um, but yeah so it's not gone too bad it's a pretty pretty decent swap oh there's a car in Pause on my bottom. Anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be on track soon now, hopefully. So I will see you in a bit. Where's this couple like going? Yeah, au revoir.